Yeah, so hello, I'm uh, Kingsley, the owner of uh, Inky Blue Utrama 51, um, taking part in the uh, Glywo World Rally. So uh, I'm Kingsley from the UK, um, I'm uh, semi-retired should we say, so I'm still doing a little bit of work in the UK. Um, I also uh, have a small house in France, so I split my time between uh, the UK and France. Uh, I used to charter uh, monohulls, um, again mostly sailing in the uh, Mediterranean. I did one Atlantic crossing. Uh, the reason I bought a new trimmer was because um, I wanted to sail around the world. I wouldn't say it's been a lifelong dream, but I'd say in the last five years or so, my wife and I have been discussing sailing around the world. And um, I wanted to uh, have a boat that I felt was really safe. Um, I wanted to have a catamaran because I enjoy the living platform. The name was a little bit random. It was to do with uh, the inky blue as a colour. So it's, uh, it's a, a blue sea and uh, also uh, uh, Outremer is uh, a colour. Um, so it, it was really no more than that. It was, it was, it was fairly random. Well, the, uh, the idea of, of technical support was important for me. I like the idea that there would be, uh, like this stop in Martinique, there would be uh, people available to uh, fix the boat. I like the idea of um, all the logistics being done, all the paperwork being done, the customs going through the Panama Canal, for example. And I think particularly given the uh, COVID environment, I felt that um, it would be important to have somebody dealing with some of the administration. And I think also I've met some uh, very nice new friends from the rally. You know, already we have some friends that I suspect will be lifelong friends, both French and English speaking people. I think you've got like-minded people coming on a project like this. Everybody has the, the same goal in mind and it's very nice mixing with those people and um, uh, you know, sharing uh, com common goals. Of course you are traveling with your home really because the boat is your home and your your tender is your car i suppose and you have all your belongings with you and if you're on an extended trip you have much more on the boat than you uh, would normally have we very much like to visit countries inland so we see the trip as an opportunity to also leave the boat and to go and explore inland at the moment we have uh, a crew member with us called uh, Jimbo who's been really helpful he can look after the boat for us uh, so we can go ashore we can spend several weeks uh, a, a shorter time if we want to. Maybe we can go and stay in some nice hotels, you know, at some point during the rally, just to break up, you know, a, a, a change from being on the boat. So it's, I think it's to explore the world, um, but it's also uh, for me, the challenge of sailing a boat, skippering a boat around the world. Um, I, I, I mean, I really like this. I like the um, technical aspect, um, you know, I like having to, uh, give consideration to the weather and the route and uh, you know the excitement of going to a new place that's that's also part of it for me uh, I mean if you take it if you take aside uh, budget and you take aside whether you're still working or whether you have the time to do it then I think uh, yeah I think anybody uh, can do it no I think it's I think it's open to everybody Clearly you need uh, to be a sailor and have some sailing experience to uh, do blue water uh, sailing. It requires you know, a level of experience, but I think it's within the reach of uh, most sailors uh, with a little bit of training, they can uh, definitely do something like this. I've been to two Utrema weeks 
Um, and I think they were, they were very helpful, but really you need to spend time on your own boat, um, you know, extended period of time. You need weeks on end, um, probably in the Mediterranean, getting prepared, making sure everything's okay. We actually went across the Atlantic with five. I enjoyed the transatlantic, the boat went well, it felt safe. Uh, yeah, it, it, it met my expectations. It was uh, certainly more comfortable than uh, when I did it in my previous boat. It's a nice break. It's nice not to be looking at social media every day. It's nice not to be looking at WhatsApp. I, uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, refreshing. We tried a bit of fishing, but we weren't very successful. I think that's because the boat was going too fast. We like to read, uh, we like to listen to podcasts, um, we do a little bit of meditation. But most of the time when we're on passage, we're busy. I mean, the day tends to go by quite quickly. You know, you're eating, you're arranging watches, uh, you're sleeping and uh, it's, it's, it's busy, it's active. I mean, I don't find I have much time really to uh, relax. You're definitely not, you're definitely not bored. I think you stay fit as long as you don't drink too many rum punches when you, <laughs> when you stop. Uh, so no, no, you're, no, of course. I mean, it's, it's, it's physical. Uh, when you're doing passage making, you're on your feet a lot. You do feel that you are exercising for sure.